OK, so today we're going to look at how you can stop Chrome from nagging you to be the default browser. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we're going to show you how you can stop Chrome from nagging you to be the default browser. Now, you could just say, OK, well, let's just set it as the default browser. What does that mean? Now, that means if the system's asked to make a decision to open up a web page, say from a link in an email or from a shortcut on the desktop, then whatever your default browser is, that is what it'll open it up in. If you've got a brand new laptop or a PC, then you'll probably find that Edge is already your default browser. If you're happy with that, then great. If not, and you want to make Chrome your default browser, then click on the blue set as default. Now, you might also be thinking, well, I could equally just click on the cross just there and that will go away. Well, yes, it will, but it won't go away permanently. At some point, it will come back. Google will remind you on odd occasions that it's no longer your default browser and you'll either have to choose whether you want to set it as your default or click on the cross just there to get rid of it, only for a little while later for it to come back. Now, it may not be for months, it may not be for years, but the fact is, it, I know for sure it definitely will come back at some point. So this guide is going to show you how you can banish this message from Google Chrome for good. So all you do is just go up to the address bar just at the top there, not the search bar down there, but the address bar right at the top there. Delete out anything that might be in there and just type all in lowercase Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags all in lowercase, no spaces, just as it's shown on screen now. Once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard. Now in the box at the top of the screen that says search flags, type in there default space browser, and then hopefully you should see default browser prompt refresh appear. Now you'll probably notice like mine, it's set to default. So it says underneath the, uh, the heading there, if enabled, the default browser info bar will be potentially shown again after it has been declined, depending on the time the info bar was last declined and how many times it's been declined. And it says here that this will work on Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OX, Android and Lacrosse. So what it's saying here is if we leave that at default, then it will come back. If we click on the downward arrow just there, then we've got some options here. We've got enabled, which again will mean that it will be potentially shown. Um, enabled aggressive, one week reprompt with no back off. So that means that it will ask again within a week. Enabled for testing, five minute reprompt with two back off max three times. So that will say it will keep coming back after five minutes. But really what we're looking for is we're looking for disabled. So move your mouse over disabled and left click once. Make sure it says disabled in there now. Move your mouse over, relaunch in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, left click once. So there we are, Chrome has relaunched and the bar is actually still there. But if I click on the cross just up there now, that will disappear and hopefully shouldn't ever come back. So let's just close down Chrome, open it up again and hopefully it shouldn't be there this time. And there we go. No, it's gone. Now, what if you want to put it back? What if you want to put it back to the default? Then all you do is just again, go into the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar at the top. Click in there, type all in lowercase Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, all in lowercase, no spaces, press enter or return. Click in search flags there and type in there default browser. And then hopefully you should see default browser prompt refresh and where it's got disabled, click on the little drop down and just click on default there. Or you can click on enabled. It's really up to you, but just click default, click on relaunch. And then after a period of time, that message asking if you want to make Chrome your default browser will come back. As I say, it won't come back straight away. It may take a little while before it comes back, but it certainly will come back at some point in the future if that is set to default or enabled. 
So there you go. That video showed you how to remove the set Chrome as your default browser message at the top of the screen permanently. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.